All right, YouTube, we're here for round three of the Modern Challenge. I won. Currently 2-0. Last round, I beat Adnaz. The round before that, I beat Phoenix. So, hopefully, we get to play something like that again. Yes. I hope your wallet gets larger after today, Tannen. Uh, this hand's pretty medium, but we have three pieces of interaction. Whoa. Okay. So we're playing a Serum Visions Eldrazi deck. They've cut two dismembers, are already gone. Zero chalices are gone. Zero. We're not going to beat a chalice on turn one. I think I'm going to keep this hand. We have a Thoughtseize and a Fatal Push. This really isn't going to do anything. And we get to filter a lot. Like, we're going we're gonna to be able to get an Angler on, likely on two if we find it. I might hold a bobble to trigger revolt. Most questions on the first screen. They chose to skip first. They exile Simeon Spear Guide. That's a tough one to beat. <clears throat> I have a lot of two drops in my hand. A lot of one drops, I mean. All right, well, there's step one. So one, two, three, four. If I hit a Street Wraith or a Bobble, I can play Gurmag Angler. But besides that, we're kind of stuck in a hard place. My opponent only has three cards. He did just put a card on top, though, which is a little sketchy. No, that thought he's ain't going to do anything for us. We have to hit a fetch land, or we have to hit... Fetch land does it. Fetch land. Fetch land. Oh, come okay, on, well, that's another crack at it. Now, any land? Yeah, any land does it. Come on. Nope. Sad. We should probably push, right? That's the same. Yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying. All right, is this a reality smasher? Right click. Oh, no, this, they just cracked me for 10 here. Yeah, I'm dead. I might as well play it out. So this is quite the draw from my opponent. <clears throat> so I have to, like, trade with this Reality Smasher and then magically find a way to fill my graveyard up a large enough to find another and find another Gurmag Angler. I might be able to just eat this. Uh, might be able to eat this Eldrazi Mimic. You know, guy can help. To do Magic Fest near London. Yeah, that'll be annoying. Okay. All right. Both both teams played hard. Whew. That's rude. That was rude. I like to get taken out to dinner before that happens. Okay. So against Colorless Eldrazi. We don't have a lot.
Judge, I forgot how many times I mulligan this game. All right, so these stubborn denials are probably not very good. But none of my, like I bring in Jays because they're never going to kill it. And it might flip and then I can kill a bunch more things. I probably want this Lightning Bolt, even though it doesn't hit it like that many things. Yeah, this doesn't really do a lot. Probably cut faith saluting. I want to be able to hit like a stubborn denial or a dismember or a dismember or like a later chalice. I'm gonna cut this looting because like I'm gonna want to loot away one drops when I get chaliced. It's like that's ain't gonna work. Oh, I could play the strokes. You were right about that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That one went over my head. I think I want to cut. I can cut lightning bolt. I cut two more stubs, but that seems kind of loose. I could cut Snapcast. I Snapcast and Rage because they'll likely. Yeah, let's cut a Snapcast and Rage. I think Lightning Bolt. Snap's gonna be a little slow. Yeah, we're gonna keep one bolt in. The game one draw you just played almost cost me. Ugh. In modern? All right, we got a plan. Opponent actually mulligans. Our opponent's effectively mulligan to four. Okay, we're looking for a discard spell. Ugh. What are the odds my opponent's got dismember and chalice in the void? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know you played Legacy Tanner, and I was just like, now they can do it in Modern more consistently. I really just want to jam this thing. Because, like, we can't be... Like, my opponent goes Chalice to the Void, my Death Shadow sucks. My opponent's got Dismember, then they only have three cards in their hand, and we can, like, oh, whatever, dude, we're, just, we're playing this thing. Nice, we're untapping. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're untapping. We got we got Eldrazi mimic, so I get to point my dismember at something. Holy shnikes. Oh wow. So Fetch Shock Blood Crypt. Dismember. Fetch Shock Blood Crypt is eight. Dismember is four. Crack you for nine. Battle Rage. Do I have to take his, like, then my opponent could theoretically go land, triple, running, uh, whatever the dumb card is? Um. They could go like land, double guide, reality smasher and kill me. So what if I just take two points? Fetch shock, blood crypt, eight. Dismember down to six, seven. Puts him to 13. But then I don't necessarily kill him through a blocker next turn. If 
I take seven points, I'm at four, and I can't attack through a Thought Knot Seer. <clears throat> Whatever, we're going to kill them through a blocker next turn. Let me go Flight Ahead first. Does that change anything? A second Death Shadow just has to be the safest thing for me. Yeah, the second Death Shadow is just like safest. I, mean, I don't think I can like lose, but like my opponent, like if I just go like Fetch Shock 8 Dismember, they could go land, double guide, Reality Smasher, kill me, and we just don't have to do that. We still might turn three our opponent. We just might do it a different way. Yeah, now we're good. Got him. <clears throat> now we're on the draw, and I am I am gonna bring in the Hercules recall. Just to bounce chalice. I think whoever said that in chat is intelligent. I'm going to cut my Snapcasters, I think. How much does Rise fall? Because, like, Snapcaster, if, if we get Chalice, it's just awful. What does my Liliana do? Nothing? My Liliana doesn't do anything. What does my Jace do? They give me like alternate ways to win the game if I get chaliced. Yeah, so we're gonna Hercules. I'm trying to think of like if it's worth bringing in Liliana or Jace because they're alternate ways to win the game through Chalice of the Void. But like if I get chaliced. I don't think I'm going to be able to just play a three-mana Planeswalker. But if my opponent, like, mulligans down to 42 or whatever, you know, and, like, they just mow to this Chalice hand, I don't want to just be dead. Like, I could – what if I just go like this? Is that just like super loose? I don't know. Jace can like loop me into what I'm doing before. It's like card filtering when my cantrip shut off. I'm just going to do this. I don't know if this is correct, but I just need things to do that don't cost that much mana. They, they have a lot of land, so Rise Fall is not that great. Bouncing a creature might be okay. I don't know. I really don't know. I think this is what I'm going to do, but I'm, I don't feel that confident about this game. Because just being on the draw against like a Serum Power Chalice of the Void deck is just like pretty pretty crappy. It's a million. My opponent kept seven. Yeah. I mean, we're going to hope it works out. All right. All right. Okay. We're drawing a matter of shaper. They have another reshaper. I think I could just take matter reshaper. 
And then like hope that my Liliana like this if this Ratchabom kills my Liliana, then whatever. I don't have any fetch lands, the goat boys. I'm just gonna take this matter of shaper. Like this ratchet ball's bad, but I'm not gonna beat two three twos. So I have to buy myself time. Yeah, they get like they get some value out of it, right? At least they get to bring their deuter back. Or they get the they get the the death trigger, but it would it would clear their thing off. Jeez. I'm just gonna play this land tapped. All right, you gotta miss opponent. Uh, yes. Get a swamp. Opponent cracks me for six. I get to kill Mimic. Magic Bomb, sure. So. Cracks me for five. So they can kill this thing next turn, but it takes their entire turn. Thank God for basic swamp, yes. Where are you, Death Shadow? Come out to play. Don't tap mana. Okay. So Liliana just basically trades with this Mimic and buys us a turn. How's it going, Dito? They're just they're just going at me. So we got a Reality Smasher coming down next turn. Let's take a look. Before we activate Liliana, we might have to go fishing. Thought knots here. Why didn't they just play that last turn? Hmm. Sounds good. I don't understand why they didn't just play Thought knots here. You got my stubborn denial, sir. So what do I need? Terminate. Turn off auto yields. It's going to five matter. Go to four. Let's just say we kill this. Plus on this. Yeah, I'm gonna go to four because like we might I'm just gonna assume that we can kill this thing next turn. Because that's what we're gonna have, that's what we're gonna need to win. And if we kill this, we want as much mana as possible to do something else with. Okay. So I want to shrink this because I don't really want to block this. And they know that I drew this, so I'm just going to tap out and play Angler. Terminate the threat would be sweet. Well, we boarded out the looting because of Chalice the Void. Oh, they drew a Dismember. 
All right, GG's opponent. You got it. They drew Dismember. What a beating. What a beating. What do we have coming? Yeah, nothing really. That's how she goes. Down to 2-1. Down to 2-1. I'm going to go say hi to my dog. I'll be right back. How's it going, Teddy? So, yeah, I don't think – I mean, we get Chalice turn one on the play, game one. Game two, we turn three of them. It was just really super interactive magic. And then game three, I mulligan to like a soft six. Just kind of didn't really get it. I think I had a chance. Like, if my opponent hadn't hit that dismember, I could have walled off the Thought Knots here, hid behind – turtle up behind the Liliana I might have gotten there. We lost. Sad. Super sad. Everyone in chat, sub to Dylan's YouTube channel, right? He's only 10 subs away. Yeah, I am only 10 subs away. That would be sweet if you guys like you got you won Inferno? Nice. Way to go. Yeah, you dismembered it. Way to go, Inferno. First challenge, you're 3 0. What a beast. Yeah, dude, if you guys go over here, let's see, let's see the numbers at. We're at 990. You could be number 1,000. If you like my stream, you don't always get to watch it. You can check it out on YouTube. Oh, look who's coming out to hang out. What up, Phil? Do not say hi to Twitch chat? You already said hi to them today. You've been so active today. Do you want to come sit up here? Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Oh. Phil, come say hi to Twitch chat. Phil, Philly boy. Oh, Philly boy. Hey, Phil, look over here. Hey, Phil, come see, say hi to Twitch chat. Phil, say hi to Twitch chat. Say hi to Twitch chat, Phil. You're so big. Oh, you're so big. You're such a big dog. It's been me and you the last three couple days. So, 2K command. Uh, yeah, I like Rise Falls because it's cheaper. The the boy Phil. What's up, bud? What's up? You don't like this? 
you shy? Are you shy, Fel? You lap dog. I don't think he's that happy. What's up, buddy? Kitty boy, what's up? This is not your cup of tea? This is not your cup of tea? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You looking at Twitch chat? You, he is such a tough guy. Philly's had some hard health problems the last couple weeks. Oh, there you go, bud. All right, we'll pull him over so I can check you, give you a close up. Here he is. Pity boy. Dad, he's not. Why, why do you play so much magic? You could be outside running around. You're already outside running around today, bud. We'll go back outside again. Not now. We will, though. We'll go on a big W A L K. <clears throat> um, yeah, the, the Ryan's Fall is cool because it's like it's just cheap, and there's so many him like there's so many himable decks in modern right now because like no one's playing lands. Just totally join each other in a Discord if we make top eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna stream if I make the top eight. Somebody snipes us, then like whatever to hell with them. I'm going to play the Legacy Challenge tomorrow, too, and I don't know what to play. I'm either going to play... I'm either going to play... I've been doing really well with this deck. No. I've been doing really well with this recently. Top 8 of the last challenge I played with this deck. Then I, I, I moved some cards around to kind of help out things out a little bit. But I'm either going to play this... Or honestly, this blue red Delver deck was better than I thought it was going to be. I, I kind of, I kind of question. I wonder about some of these cards, but like, I, like I definitely think I want another Valk. I love to see lands in modern. Lands twenty four seven. You're just a real estate agent, Tim. Like this deck was better than I thought it was going to be. Like Terramander was decent. Terminator is very decent. Terminator is very good. Um, I kind of want to just play like you already have so much removal that I kind of just want to play like Smash the Spin of the Rings in my sideboard instead of a braid. But you know, it's probably just like right to play a braid because this deck already has eight main deck removal spells. We could also just cut some removal spells and get some stifles in there, and then it'd be right up my alley. I'm honestly probably just gonna do that because I like the card stifle so much. Like I, I love stifle. Like it, it's like it's not as good as it used to be, but like there are so many matchups where stifle just like gives you a turn or it gives you a card in a weird way, especially coupled with young pyromancer. Like you know you stifle a Liliana activation, then you get a token, you know, then you attack the Liliana. You can hold off like oh, it was a nine removal spells. Excuse me. You can hold off like merit lace for a turn while you're clocking them. What about a card that might fit into Modern Horizons? Slow down the format from nothing broken. Stand still. They'll just do it and then they'll just break it and kill you. You know, like they'll kill you before the card matters. Like in all reality, all the nice cards that could come into Modern Horizons are not going to matter if. Faithless Looting is in banned, in my opinion. Because in they already they already like I, I say that as kind of like there's like obviously there's there's 255 cards, so they're gonna matter. But like we already saw the format get two of the most powerful fair cards of all time, and it just made the format faster. Because people were like, I'm just gonna ignore Jason Blood Red Elf. I'm gonna go fast. And if you open up all these sweet new value cards, which there's not a lot of them that you can, I don't think, because they're just too good. But I ran some cool polls on this, and I just, like, polled the community through this week. So let me go check these out. We, we can we can pull these up. 
while we're waiting around here. Okay, so I went, here's one. I decided to choose three combo cards. It was Reanimate, Sneak Attack, or the Three Wishes. Um, I thought that Reanimate was going to win, but I didn't think that it was going to win by this much. Because, hang on, let me move this back here. Because uh, having another Sneak Attack is just like redundance. Like, the, like Sneak Attack and Through the Breach is just redundance in Modern. Which is really good when there's not that many cantrips. So... I, I, like, I figured Reanimate was going to be ahead, but I didn't think it was going to beat Sneak Attack by this much. Um, let's go look at other ones. That was one of them. Okay, then I picked like three answer, answer cards. And with Deluge, Deed, and Council's Judgment. And I'm kind of surprised Council's Judgment was as high as it was. But... You know, that's just what people thought. Like I thought, I think Council's Judgment is just like a, a nice, fair catch-all that sees a lot of like as a true name nemesis. And I don't know in a format without true name how much that would work. But I thought Pernicious Deed might follow like the, you know, if somebody goes like, whatever, Planeswalker Deed, then you're just like, uh, I can't win. And I did think Deluge was the best because it's like a three-mana wrath. Um... Cutting, burning, and living. Like I know there's other ones that see that are that were printed, but I just don't. I don't know if they see play. Um, nope, not that one. Okay, so here I did creatures, and this this right here, like I thought that each one of these two creatures would be powerful, more powerful than Baleful Strix. Because the problem with Baleful Strix is that people would just play Strix. The people would just start to ignore it. Like, your Aether Vial decks would just die. And they'd be like, all right, well, we're not going to play decks that interact on Baleful Strix access. Axes, we're just going to try to kill them. And that's what Legacy is. Like, Grix is, I don't think Grixis Control is, like, that good of a deck. You know, like, it's okay. But the reason why it's good in some matchups, is because Baleful Strix is nuts. Like, when, when Baleful Strix is good, that deck is good. Yeah, Gristle Dad. Gristle Brand is just Gristle Brand. But I, I thought Lackey would have gotten more. I think Lackey's really good. So then, here I did, uh, I did kind of like, uh, just some blue cards. And I was, I was surprised that it was this close between Force of Will and Stifle. Like, I think there's a lot of decks that could get better from being able to force a Faithless Looting on turn one. Now, the reason that, like, like, I don't know how to say this. Force of Will in Modern would be, would not see play in the combo decks that are currently in Modern, except maybe Ad Nauseam, because Ad Nauseam is kind of like the show and tell of Modern. It wouldn't see play in, like, Storm, because that's a critical mass deck. It doesn't see play in the Legacy Storm deck. Um, but, like, what what helps you get away with going down a card forcing is all the cantrips let you find all your good cards, and they're not there in Modern. So I think Force is, like, okay. No, Storm wouldn't, because Storm needs a critical mass, I think. Like, Storm Storm in Modern doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um... Then Flusterstorm, I figured that one was, like, Flusterstorm's just fine. Like, I figured the, these two were going to be far above this one, which they were. But I thought this one would be, like, closer to, like, 40, like, probably, like, 48%, I think. And 30. Then I did one more. I did Him, Days, and Sylvan Library. And I think that they got this one pretty close to right. Like, I think him is clearly the better card. Storm Legacy needs their Lotuses. And that requires you to discard your hand. I don't know. I don't know how that's relevant. Like, like in the modern Storm deck needs all their rituals. 
The problem with like force of will in modern is you don't have like like let's just say that let's say you're you're Jeskai control and your hand is uh two lands, serum visions, force of will, two lands, serum visions, force of will, lightning bolt, lightning helix, snapcaster mage. Okay. And your opponent goes, I don't know, they do something like Copper Line Gorge, Faithless Looting. You probably have to force that looting, or you're going to lose because they're just going to outdredge you. But, like, you can't fix your draw. Like, none of your removal spells work well against Dredge. So, you're going to go down a card, yes, stop what they're doing, but your hand doesn't operate. You don't have a brainstorm to fix your hand. So, what I thought here with Daze is that Daze loses a lot of its zip without Wasteland and without Stifle in a format like, like, like you, like that doesn't see play, but like the mana denial aspect of Daze is much worse without Wasteland and Stifle. So, I think that this card's actually the worst of the three. I think Sylvan Library is like, should be much above this, in my opinion, because Sylvan Library, um, Enables, like, you... I believe you get to dredge three times. It's a weird rule for no mana. You can play it in, like, these Turbo Vizier decks, and it'll be very good. And it's just a good fair card, and, like, there's no kind of selection like that in modern. I don't think we see any of these iconic-ish legacy cards. I guess these are quite good cards that don't make the cut an actual legacy. I think, like, one of the easiest ones that will... I think, I think they're just going to put Baleful Strix in Modern. Can confirm. That's how it works. Tim Schultz, knowing what's up. And, like, they don't, you don't have anything that provides that kind of, uh, whatever it is in Modern, that kind of, uh, that kind of filtering in Modern. So it would be brand new to it. So otherwise, well, no, it wouldn't be played because you, you need all of your cards, right? Like most of the time you're cracking with like people I've never seen. Most of the time people don't crack LED with that many cards left in their hand, you know? It's Baleful Strix kill Death Shadow. Like it's not good. You know, there's a chance that, uh, that Death Shadow incorporates their own Baleful Strix. I don't know. One of the big problems with all of these reprints is that if they reprint all of these cards and all of these, like, you know, it's it's very easy to make the modern Death Shadow deck look sim more similar to the Legacy Death Shadow deck. And I don't think that's that's really healthy. Because, like, if you, if you reprint Force of Will and Days, like, this card, this, this deck has to change the way it's made up. Like, you need to add cantrips. There's not enough blue cards to support Force of Will. Like, what do we got here? Sort by color. You only have 13 blue cards. So, like, in order for this deck to be able to support Force, like, you would probably have to cut, like, I don't know, let's just, let's just do this for the memes. Let's do it for the memes. Uh, go here, probably one more of these. These go out. These go out. You got your three pushes, two of these. I don't know what the format looks like though. Like, I think ideally you would move these like somewhere else and then you would play like
But like the problem is, is if you do this to this deck, it starts to just look like the legacy deck, and it's like, is that really what you want? They probably end up just like cutting red. I don't know. It's like, is this the deck that you want to look at in this format? You know, like, is this what you want this format to look like? Like, I don't know. You probably need more blue cards. Like, sort by color. Oh, we have 22 blue cards. So, yeah, maybe we need more blue cards. I don't know. Like, how many blue cards do I have in my... This one is 27, so I would likely need a couple more. I need to find room for, like, two or three more blue cards. I don't have that work. I'm going to grab some water before the round starts, though. Well, I, I think mo I think modern is pretty awful at the moment. So like I would I it, like I like legacy at the moment, and I'm pretty cool with making modern legacy light without two mana lands and wasteland. I think that would be fun. But alas, that's not what we're, we're what we're going to be doing. What do you want? Why are you like this? Why are you like this, buddy? No, oh, I'm gonna put saw in here before I get a headache. Uh, what else? We got lightning bolts. Uh, looting. Then I've got what are my other cards? Inquisition. Three more cards, bomb. I don't necessarily think people would like Wasteland, Tim. I think that's just the sad truth about that. Oh, man. Nice, where you have a canister. Yeah, I mean, like modern is just not modern is like modern is just kind of not that great at the moment. Because like like if you watch all of these games that I've played, like like this is the best fair deck in the format. And like there's a lot of times where this just doesn't even make games. Like I just I just like Whatever, I discard spell my opponent like 14 times, and then I battle rage them and kill them. Like, that's not high quality magic, you know? And that's what the format is like the Fortex, like main deck surgical extraction. It's like, you know, a lot of we don't mess with you. Like, I would let's not interact. Like, in Legacy, even the combo decks interact with you via counter spells and discard spells. So, like, if, if like the like the the feel bad wasteland aspect of legacy or like the two mana land chalice the void aspect of legacy isn't that fun, but like if you could give me a format that was like legacy without wastelands or chalice of the void or like two mana lands and like the sign or like fast mana in general just sign me up. Like that sounds awesome. As opposed to what modern is now, but I have a bias like. Like, I never played Splinter Twin, but I loved Modern during that era because it was an era that was based on interacting with your opponent. Because if you do not interact with Splinter Twin, they will kill you, and Splinter Twin is trying to interact with you to prevent you from killing them. Same thing with Birthing Pod. Um, I liked Modern in 2017 when, like, Death Shadow and Humans were, um, were a part of it. Because, like, Humans... He's like, I'm playing creatures. I'm naming cool things where I'm taking things from you. 
like 2018 modern, like Eldrazi Winter until Gitaxian Probe was banned was not good. Um, it's tough for me to remember much further back than Splinter Twin because I was playing, but I wasn't that competitive. Like I got competitive. I got competitive about a year after Deathrite Shaman got banned. Like 2013 was my first Grand Prix. So I guess that was like right smack dab in the middle of Pod and Twin were the best decks. And you had like Dell for a little while, but whatever, they got rid of that. How many rounds in the challenge? Eight. Ultra Rising Winter was 2016. I played like I played like Brian Kibler Zoo. But I played like just Big Zoo. Yeah, that's just about how it was. It was like Splinter Twin slash Birthing Pod, right? Or was Birthing Pod before Splinter Twin? They, they, I mean, they overlapped for a while. Because there was a time where I thought Splinter Twin was, I thought it was, it was the consensus that Birthing Pod was the best deck, hence why it was banned before it was. Because then it was like, it was like Bloodbraid Elf, it was like Bloodbraid Elf Jund, it was like Bloodbraid Elf Jund, then it was Deathrite Shaman Jund, and then it was like Pod, then SS Nielsen's time frame. I think it was before. I don't think it was. I think I, I think it was like a year before. Because you could play Splinter Twin, you could play Pod and Twin in the format in the Pro Tour that Sean McLaren won. In Faded in Fate Reforged, you could not play Pod, but you could play Twin because Jacob Wilson top aided with like the Podless Pod deck. Pod was okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, just a cantrip that's better right now. That's the only reason why it's in there. It was an entire year. Yeah, Twin One Fate Reforged, and then Sean McLaren won the one beforehand. We beat Jacob Wilson. Jacob Wilson was playing Pod. I have dog hair all over my computer. This is the problem of having a black dog. Is it the hair? It's just everywhere, and you you can't unsee it. Oh, our round four is turning over. Nice. It was Amulet Bloom. Yep. I thought Amulet Bloom and KCI were like were on the same trajectory. Like, like Amulet Bloom was a combo deck that was really hard to play but just kept getting better and better and better and better and more innovated on, which like this in KCI was just the same thing. They were both two really great combo decks that were difficult to play that didn't see a lot of the meta share. And then all of a sudden they were innovated on and got better and got easier to play. And they just started to take off and they were like, get rid of both of them. All right. Shock Tropa beat Susurus. That's interesting. Mono Blue Tron. I guess Tron would probably be, but it's Mono Blue Tron. Is that good against Prison? I don't know. I would think regular Tron would be good against Prison because they just exile things. Like, you can only have so many Sorcerer's Spyglasses. Yeah. Like, my dog's getting sitting on our bed and we have a white cover on. I don't. I think Amulet Titan is the most overrated deck in modern, in my opinion. Like, I think it's a worse big mana deck than than Tron. Oh shoot! I didn't even stop recording. I 